What is up guys, Rick Hackis here going over the Eclipse, an elite variant of the MK14 Assault Rifle in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So this variant features 3 upgrades, 3 downgrades. Accuracy is increased twice, damage is increased once, fire rate is decreased once, and handling is decreased twice. I would consider this a very, very good mix of increases and decreases considering the things that are upgraded are pretty awesome, accuracy and damage, whereas the downgrades, it's not great that fire rate is downgraded, but handling is pretty useless on the MK14. All handling effects, um, through testing, it's found that all handling effects really is the hip fire accuracy, and it's only very, very slight, so you're going to have slightly worse hip fire accuracy, whereas if you're using the MK14, the majority of your time is going to be found aiming down sights. Now the upgraded damage, obviously more damage is always better, that's just an obvious thing, the upgraded damage is an awesome addition, however the accuracy upgrades, upgrading accuracy by twice is it is not unnoticeable. You certainly, when you're using the normal MK14, if you're trying to get extremely long range shots, you'll notice that sometimes if you aim at an enemy and just start firing, it can bounce around enough that you may miss one or two shots. You certainly do not find this with the Eclipse. The thing is a bloody laser. Like, you do not recall at all with this double increase in accuracy. So what we have with the Eclipse is a very good variant of the MK14. I would definitely use the Eclipse over the M normal MK14 every time. The problem, however, is the MK14 itself. On normal core, it is like a 3-4 to four shot kill, which is terribly slow compared to most other normal fully automatic assault rifles are only going to kill in one bullet more, you are terribly outgunned in normal core. So I didn't have the most fun time using this in normal core, but switching over to hardcore, it was a different story. You really do notice the increase in accuracy in hardcore because you are actually able to get extreme cross map shots and kill a guy in only one or two shots. So it really does matter, like if you're trying to shoot a guy running across the very other end of the map, that increase in accuracy will make your first two shots actually land and have a better chance of killing him. The increase in damage isn't extremely noticeable, but again, any increase in damage is always a benefit if he's been in a gunfight before. You never know how much damage he's taken, and again, an increase in damage is always a good thing when talking about time to kill. The decrease in fire rate isn't too noticeable, but it is something to be aware of. I run this gun in hardcore with a silencer. I do like to run a sight, but it's not absolutely necessary. And quick draw grip is always pretty important. I actually hadn't unlocked it at the time I was filming this, so obviously it isn't completely essential, but it is always very, very good to have a quick draw grip. To summarize, the Eclipse is a fantastic variant of the MK14 and I think a clear improvement over the vanilla version. However, the MK14 itself doesn't do enough damage to be viable in normal core playlists unless you are changing your playstyle entirely to encompass the long range potential of this gun. I found a much easier time on myself simply going into the hardcore playlist where this gun is very, very competitive. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. And as always, have a good day.